On a farm, in a barn Feeling lonely, but I got some yarn Ooh, yeah, got the yarn Got the yarn, I'm gonna do some knitting In a boat, slip my throat Feeling bad, but I still got some of that yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, got the yarn. I'm gonna do some knitting. We are at mile 19.8 on our trip. What, what do you have in store for us here? This is the ranger station, and there's two short trails that we're gonna do. One to a homestead, and one is supposed to be super mossy is Olympic this one Park. Where they clear cut all of the beautiful trees to put apple orchard in? Yeah. But it's kind of interesting to see a really old homestead in the middle of all of this. Got Effie. Jack's got, you got the milk. Can you carry the milk, bud? Do you need to treat it all up or are you good? You're my treat. Ooh. My sweet. Okay, well, I need a treat, so. <laughs> we are off to see some not so modern homesteading. Over here is the Kestner Homestead Trail. About a hundred years ago, they homesteaded in the middle of this Olympic Peninsula with a gazillion trees. And we're gonna see what it looks like now. It's a uh, Casio G-Shock. <laughs> I'm like, I've got so much stuff in my pocket. Um, I've got pure energy in my pocket. So one thing that's a little bit disappointed that I've seen here is obviously there's a lack of funding for upkeep. Yeah. Um, not only like, the old historical sites but the uh just the facilities like the shops and the housing for the seasonal employees i mean it's just kind of shabby it's not you know paint peeling and all of that it's well and in the beautiful lodge that was built in the 1920s where it's all wood floor and beautiful things they put vinyl floor in and you're like i know oh, seriously you couldn't put wood floor in here it yeah. was it was kind of tragic it's probably a budgetary thing and I just, we were talking earlier i was like how how much are we spending on foreign wars? Wouldn't it be nice to bring home some of that? You have a bug, sorry. <laughs> to bring home some of that, you know, stop policing the world and, and focus on our own infrastructure and a little bit more money for the parks and such. I mean, how can you not ask, ask that question? So this is the old homestead. Pretty nice place. Think of the effort. Think of the Herculean effort, Jack, that went into clearing these pastures. Used to look like you've tried you've pulled stumps before like little ones right how about some of these massive ones that are eight feet across can you imagine pulling those stumps out no and this is all with a horse and these are yeah apple probably with a horse so i'm kind of curious to see if there's another ad they said there was an apple orchard so i wonder if this is the apple orchard or if there's more so i was always thinking between our house and the pottery barn that we should have something like this where it goes across the top you could still drive in but it would be covered in the winter. You could go back and forth between your wood shop and our house. It would just be really nice. And then we nice. could actually put some storage in our house. You could pull your car in here oh. and then you could unload things and they would be dry in the winter time. In the winter, it could be like a carport. And in the summer, it could be a place where you could have a beautiful table. That's a great idea. Why don't you build that for us? Okay, I'll plan it. Jack, <laughs> I have a project for you. <laughs> so this is really cool here. If you look at these beams, Right here, see how they're all, they were all axe cut. Oh. Those were hand, those were hand cut, all hand hewn. And look at the, how big everything is. They're let in there with a with the little window lentil deal. This is really cool. And then the old log construction. Isn't that neat? Yeah, they did a good job of yeah. like, trying to renovate. Well. No sheeting on anything, just the shakes, the seed, clear cedar shakes right on top of the ground rafters. I just love cedar shakes. They look so good, especially when contrasted to that. <laughs> I agree. We're trying to figure out what this thing is. Obviously, it was something to drive upon. Yeah. It almost looks like a like a pit where they drive up and change the oil on there, but I don't think that was it. Yeah. I mean, it, it look how quick and dirty this is, but it really still looks nice. That the we've got the knee braces on there. You know, they didn't. Spend a ton amount of time on there, but it's still, after all these years, it's still holding up. And there's charm. Yeah, had they put the, had they notched in the top there, they would still be standing instead of a uh, putting a nail in, which is pulled out. 
I think that they're, they said something about not going in. Well, that makes me want to go in. Cody. Look it, I'm in and I'm not dead. So many rules, sweet loaf, so many rules. Well, they said because the buildings haven't been well cared for, but they're going to hopefully renovate them in the next couple of they years. Haven't been well cared for. That is really cool. That's a huge cauldron. What do you think it's for? Maple syrup, honey? I don't uh, know. Washing your clothes, feeding? Boiling something. Oil, Maybe that's where, oil. where you take your bath. Oil, boil. Do you, got, you know what that is, Jack? It's a spike. That's a really big axle shaft. You can tell by the splines. Cody, what is this tool? See, it's curved. See that little loop in the curve? I don't know what that is. That's a roof rake. It looks like to me. Yeah. But they don't get snow here, so maybe it's not. It's a low ceiling. It's almost as, that's even taller than our house. <laughs> our ceiling's really <laughs> short in our house. This is a really big gate. It's probably 18 feet or so. Look how they did it. They hooked it way up on top. This, even this log right here, that's all, that's all ax cut. Someone did that tradition. And not very long ago either. They built those brackets and then that support down there to keep it from sagging. But that's a that's, that's a impressive. pretty cool gate. Yeah. Amazing. Can you imagine? You come to that and you do this. Now that is yeah. some hard work. That pasture we looked in. Yeah. You show up and th this is what they had right here. You show up and it's boggy and swampy so you have to drain it. Right. I don't know what would be worse busting the sod in the prairie with nothing around and you know no resources or this i mean there's there's water everywhere there's timber resources everywhere there's plenty of game there's no gore-tex so <laughs> i've almost some, taken... some of this is off camera but cody just keeps he's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so slippery and then he's like, here. And he's like come up here i'm like i got a baby on the front i keep watching you almost <laughs> dig it I think I'm going to take it easy here. I thought that this bridge was about ready to fall through. It's so rotten. But then I looked underneath of it and it's all, uh, it's all steel. Ah, what have we got here, Cody? The bear boxes are always a video favorite. Ready? I think from folks that aren't in bear, don't live in bear country have not seen anything like this before. Yeah. There's two type of bear boxes. There's These are for garbage because uh, bears, it attracts them. And they don't want that. Right. Um, and then there are some, if you're camping, if you're storing food going on in hikes. Right. They're different. So, they, the, they usually latch in the front for food. But this is for garbage. You put your hand in. Push it. Ah, trash. And bears, they have not figured that motion out yet. Yeah. Huh. It's not overly complicated. I guess you can't get your bear is, claw. Yeah, if you're like... Put your bear claw in there. Papa, bears yeah. aren't overly complicated either, so. No, they're not. <laughs> Mrs. W spotted something interesting from the road. This way. Giant fresh cut timbers. It looks like it. I don't know if they're timbers, but they're huge trees. So I th think you always have to oh, check we'll it out. down again. Well, you're, you're trying to go down. It wasn't even a slippery one. Wow, look at the size of these. This, this is just like the size of the firewood that I cut. Jack. Start chopping. <laughs> wow. Talk about building some muscle. That is huge. What do you think? It's kind of cool, isn't so it? So can you hold the camera? Yeah. So I am, um, I'm roughly six foot four. So this is seven foot across. And this is even, let's go over to the big side. This isn't even the butt. Here's the butt. How, how tall would that be? At the, 10 feet? Tall. That, I've got someone who's moving the camera here the at the bottom. It's Doug fur, isn't it? Wow, that is amazing. So this is a this is a red fur. This is uh, what from the stump. Forty feet. This is where it's getting small. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to count the rings on here. Put in the comments how many years old do you think that this red fur is? It's going to take me a while. I'll be I'm going to be here a little bit. One, two, three. Hey Jack, can you count these for me? Nah. Look at that. That is really neat. That was a pretty good sized chainsaw to cut that, huh? Yeah. Man, and it's absolutely perfectly clear. And it smells good. That hasn't been down very long. Nope. Were there two of them? Is this the stump? It's two of them. Oh, wow. So that's the, that's the big one right there. So that one must have came down and took this one with it. Which took this one? And took this one. Which, these are western red cedars here. My goodness. How would you, would you have liked to have been standing about right here when this all happened? You wonder why it happened. 
Yeah, because that looks like a healthy tree. Oh, I cannot give you guys the scale of all of this. It's really fascinating, isn't it? Hey. What are you doing? I'm kind of worried that I'm now stuck. <laughs> Is it one of those things where we're going to have to pull you out? Yeah. I think it's it pretty be. cool, huh? I just saw that like fresh cut and I was like, oh, I know. So I counted these the best I could. Out, out here to the outside edge, it, the growth rings are so tight and they got so small that I had to kind of estimate. But I would guess, my best guess, well, what do you think, Mrs. W? Uh, 729. I think, I think about... Okay. I could cut this on the Lucas mill. It would actually work. It would? Yeah, I'd have to raise it, raise it up, but I could cut. I could, you lift it? We could, you could cut the lumber package for a whole house, maybe a couple houses out of this one section here. Seriously? Yeah, you don't have to lift it with the Lucas. You could just put it- Start at the top. You, yeah, you, you raise it up and you start it at the top and you start look, going down. Well, we wanted to build a new house, right baby? Oh, I, I would love to have this to go to work on. Except for that's too valuable for framing material. You would want to use that for- For um, flooring and uh, tables. For trim, yeah. CVG, old growth fur. Good luck buying this stuff. And that is just priceless. Not literally, but nearly. Awesome. So here's the here's the big fur going on. Wow. Jeez. Western red. This is a western red here that they cut down and you can just smell it, but it was all punky. Yeah, it was all rotten in the center, so this was a, a danger snag. Looks like that one's newly cut up there too, maybe. I think it no that one's broken off. All right, Loafer, are you ready? Loafer's ready. We're going to take you to the lodge. Let's go, let's go. So this is where we're staying. What's, what is this place called? Lakeside. Very, very nice. It's right on the water. And then we'll go through this beautiful little green grass area here to the historic lodge. It was built, I think, in 1926. That was a WPA project, right? Yes, and if you come, try to stay in the lodge. And we may even be eating dinner tonight at the same table that Teddy Roosevelt ate at. Would you like that? I would like that. A little bit of history. And here is the lodge. It is gorgeous. Come on, Jack. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. Oh, that's right. Mama will do it. You look just like a Sasquatch. Wait. Get it. Get the hair out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Always a good sport, Mama is. Oh, do you want to see a hand, you want to see a hand dug canoe? So this is really interesting. So this was built by a by a guy, he was 22 when he built it, out of a, one piece of western red cedar in 1969. It is so impressive. I wonder it? what it weighs. That is really, Just that would be a lot of work. time to, to do that. And these are the oars. These have been the traditional oars that they used. That's kind of a, an unusual shape, isn't it? Very cool. That is neat. Looks like it's been repaired. Right there, maybe it wore through. See the blue? Well, and the nails that don't look original. Should you have a fire hose lying around, this is much cuter than a utilitarian box. Isn't it adorable? I like it when people take the time to do that. That's no small project to build that. And it's for no other reason than just to hide the fire hose in there. And if they ever get a fire dog, it can now live the in there too, right? the standpipe could be straight. That wouldn't hurt anyone either. But yeah. Yeah, I mean. You can't have everything. <laughs> yeah, there's, you know, not everything's perfect. That is cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think people could come to our house and make the same argument. Well, that, that was all the stuff that was in there before we moved in. <laughs> right? Uh, well, some of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always like, we know that the thing is when you, Cody's like, this is going to be temporary. I'm like, temporary often means 10 years, so let's do it this way make rather a good than this way. Make a good temporary. Make a good yeah, temporary, right. yeah. How much rain did they get this year? I don't know, but that's really high up there. So in 2016, I'm assuming that that's... There's one above it. 15 and a half feet of rain annual. That's a lot. Very nice. We can sit by the fire. It's a beautiful mantle. This is the epitome of cozy. Are you set for the evening? I am set for the evening. 
So here's the fireplace. These are the rounds cut. Beautiful fireplace. Herringbone. Gorgeous.